huge hour coming up with a gigantic main event, House of Truth against the Drake Michael Elgin. Unbelievable in the House of Truth, you know, they, they have a lot to prove, especially that young man, Donovan Dijak. But Michael Elgin's on a path to the world title. And we'll find out more this hour. Plus, we've got a no disqualification encounter with Caprice Coleman taking on Will Ferrara. But the world television champion kicks off the hour here in Philly. Successful at final battle, not without controversy. War of Words continues to rage. Mr. Wrestling 3, where do you stand on the outcome at final battle? Well, as a man that's held many championship belts in my illustrious career, you're taught one thing, win at all costs, and Roderick Strong, it's Roddy against the world. He's gonna win at any cost, as we saw at final battle. Well, this Philadelphia crowd certainly never shy about making their thoughts known, but who will Roderick Strong face this week? If you guys weren't watching live on pay-per-view, I am still your Ring of Honor World Television Champion. So let's continue this Roddy versus the world, and let me see what you guys have for me. Bring him on out. We had heard it was an open challenge this week for Roderick Strong, so who will it be to challenge for the television title? is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Introducing first to my right, the challenger, wrestling out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing 241 pounds, Stevie Richards. Opponent to my left, wrestling out of Tampa, Florida, weighing 212 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Roderick Strong! Great ovation for Stevie Richards. And one thing I want to point out real quick before we go to the tail of the tape, Roderick Strong, not surprised, not intimidated at all, and I think he should be. Richards has got quite the resume. He certainly does, as referee Todd Sinclair presents the championship gold. The title is on the line. It's the first match of 2016. Richards! We've talked many times about what a 2015 Roderick Strong had. And you know he wants to take that momentum into the new year here. And this is going to be amazing. Both, both athletes in, in top physical shape. Roderick Strong, a, 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 a big component of uh, the CrossFit style of training. Stevie Richards, as, as you know, very, very in touch with DDP yoga. Oh, he's one of the lead instructors with DDP, but you know, let's look at what 2015 meant to Roderick Strong. If you look back, the first match for Ring of Honor on television in 2015 was a victory for Roderick Strong. And he said by the time the year is over, he would be back on top in Ring of Honor, and that is exactly where he is. He sure is, and you know, we saw a final battle, a little controversy, if you will. A lot of controversy. You know, and we, we debated, and we've been debating for weeks, Mr. Kelly, about did Roddy tap out or did he give Bobby Fish that false sense of security? You can go on ROHWrestling.com and tell for yourself, but a lot of questions, a lot of questions we have. 
So Stevie Richards looks very comfortable and very confident right now. As of course we know Roddy is. But three, let me ask you a question. Do you think that that did I tap, did I not tap, did I just pull Bobby Fish to get one over on him? Do you think that that is at all bothering Roderick Strong? I don't think so because we've known Roddy for years, years. And he hasn't always been the most sportsmanlike, and that's okay because when you want to be the top guy, sometimes you got to take a, a couple cheap shots. And he did, but we saw some cheap shots from Bobby Fish in, in the verbal way. Well, of course, you can order the Final Battle 2015 replay on pay-per-view. Just visit ROHwrestling.com, and you can decide for yourself. Now, Roddy, wait a second. Stevie turns it around, reverses. Kick to the upper chest, now a full slam from Richards. Keeps him down, for a lateral press gets a one count. And it was great slam, you see a big follow through. It's something that a lot of young wrestlers don't do anymore. A follow through with the body slam is gonna put more velocity down, make the impact even harder on the, on the wrestler taking it. There's that drop kick, that scintillating drop kick from Roderick Strong. And his greatest shape is Stevie Richards is in. He's had a lot of injuries. He's had a neck surgery, he's had knee surgery, and he has gotten his body fine-tuned for this match. We saw him in 2015 against Jay Lethal. He looked great, and now he's back in Ring of Honor and wants to start the year off with the world television title. Boy, after the belly back suplex, Richards kicked out before Todd Sinclair could even get a one count out. So, of course, our main event later on tonight, Donovan Dijak, one-on-one -on -one against unbreakable Michael Elgin. Just days away from Wrestle Kingdom 10 at the Tokyo Dome on January 4th. And the mission is clear in our main event tonight. Donovan Dijak is to derail Elgin before he faces Jay Lethal for the Ring of Honor World title at Wrestle Kingdom. That's our main event, the Olympic Slam for Roderick Strong. And Roddy wrestling more of a methodical style against the 24-year veteran. And Richards knows this building, the 2300 Arena, so well. So many battles that he's had, not just in South Philadelphia, but all the surrounding areas. This is where he cut his teeth. This is where he became a star. And he's not resting on those laurels. He's not a guy that's going to live in the past. He wants to create more of a future for himself. And you can see the shape he is in. The style that he has, oh, nice, caught him right in the mouth. The world television champion is in control. Roddy versus the world. Stevie Richards is the challenger. This match continues. Stay with us. We are back on Ring of Honor Wrestling. The world television title is on the line. Roddy versus the world. Roderick Strong this week in open challenge, and it was answered by longtime pro wrestling veteran Stevie Richards, who has given the champion everything he has to offer, but strong now, Mr. Wrestling 3 is in control. Absolutely, and this is, this is what he likes to do. Cover, two, and Richards kicks out. And Roderick Strong doesn't have a set of moves. He has a way, he, he has a game plan in every match. Sometimes you won't know something that he did a week ago in minute one, he won't do until minute 12, and that's, oh! Stevie kicked there, and the champ goes down, but... He just owes the Young Bucks 19 cents. But how in the world could Roddy have a game plan in mind when he issues an open challenge? Because he knows in his heart every wrestler that is answering this challenge, he's gonna make them wrestle his match. And that's a, that's a, one of the great things about Roderick Strong. We talked about the maturity of Roderick Strong in 2015. Now, in 2016, he's the vet. He's the measuring stick. He's the best wrestler on TV. He knows that all these guys that answer the challenge, he's going to make them wrestle the World Television Champions match. But the question is, did Roderick Strong tap out to Bobby Fish at final battle? Nice. nice. Face first, down goes the champion, too. Less than half a count away from the new World Television Champion right there. A great ring placement by Stevie Richards. Hits that inverted DDT. Hooks the leg right in the middle of the ropes. Almost got the three count. So Stevie Richards now has the champion in some trouble. Reverse of the Irish whip. Oh! Jumps up with the knee. Caught him in the jaw. There's a forearm in the jaw as well. Another Stevie kick. No, counter. Beautiful. Backbreaker. Cover. Shoulders are down two, and Richards able to kick out. And I wish I knew the formula that Roderick Strong was thinking when he put out Roddy versus the World Challenge. 
because you saw there, he telegraphed the Stevie kick. He knew when it was coming. He got out of it, hit the backbreaker for a near fall. A thinking man's wrestler. We wouldn't have been saying that in 2014, 2013, but now in 2016, Roderick Strong is the complete package. Double knee gut buster, caught him. Double knee gut buster found its mark. Oh, the sick kick now countered by the Stevie kick. That's another 19th century of my boys. The leg is hooked too. We almost had a new television champion right there. Wow. I thought he had him there. I thought he had him. Great placement with the Stevie kick. Referee Todd Sinclair in great position. Not only do we have the best wrestling on the planet, we have the best referees on the planet. Look at that, going for the Boston Crab. He's got a cinch down, there he goes. Lower back, the hamstrings, the quads oh. behind the knee. And Roderick Strong, he's getting a, a little bit of his own medicine here. Roddy captured the television title with the stronghold. Richards tried to use it to win the title away from Roddy. Caught! A backbreaker. And now, Richards is gonna feel what the stronghold is all about. Great strength to Stevie Richards to hold off from taking this. After that backbreaker, right in the, the lower back. Beautiful. The strength of the core of Richards allowed him to be able to rotate his torso over and get to that bottom rope to force the break. And that's a lot of the, the teachings of Diamond Dallas Page. Oh! That knee may have just knocked Richard Town cold. That's wow. how he regained the title in final battle, and he's a victor here with the same move. The winner of the match, and still right about a world television champion, Roderick Strong. Well, very impressive outing for the challenger, but Roddy versus the world continues. Whether it's technology, fitness, professional wrestling, or even cats or all of the above, we have you covered at StevieRichardsOnline.com. Go to the store, check out all the videos, especially the 15-minute killer workout series.